just to move right to business so that we can uh, save on time because when you have something to say it has to run on a pillar of time so this moment you can take your bibles together with me right away and uh, we read from the book of uh, uh, hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 to 6 hebrews 11 uh, verse 1 to 6 and uh, I am reading from King James Version. I'm reading from King James Version. And uh, I believe we'll be blessed. I commence reading by the power of God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. The examples of faith, verse 3. Through faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was a righteous God testifying of his gift, and by it he being a dead yet speaketh. Verse 5, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had uh, this testimony that he pleased God. Verse 6, and the last for this evening. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. May the Lord bless his word. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because of your word that is living, that is uh, sharper than any double-edged sword. This word, Heavenly Father, we believe it has a word of encouragement for us this evening. I know we've gone through many, many things, but dear Lord, we know faith makes the difference, and this evening, it is still making difference. So I pray as I share your word to your people, speak, Lord, because we are listening. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want just, as I've said, to move straight to business. And I want to share the topic of power of faith. There is power in faith. And uh, I want to encourage you as believers, that uh, as friends and believers, that faith is in the middle of our Christian life because it is powerful. 
And um, I will have five points. I will have five points. That is number one. Because, uh, uh, you know, faith is very powerful. Uh, faith is in the middle of uh, our Christian life. I want to say that, number one, no salvation without faith. Number two, our day-to-day -day life is by faith. Number three, Lord's promises to us are fulfilled by faith. Or rather, Lord's promises will be fulfilled by faith. Number four, we please God by faith on him. And last, that is five, we will get to heaven by faith. So faith is in the midst of this business. Now, the, the chapter itself in verse 1 is trying to divine what faith is. And faith is, uh, you know, let me uh, read it again from the NIV, which is uh, uh, a, a smart and simple English. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. You know, the King James is saying, now faith is a substance. Hey, this is a lot of English, I tell you, of things opt for, the evidence. And, and he, this is like uh, written by a lawyer. But I want to say in a very simple way that faith is being sure. Being sure that it is going to happen. But when you are sure of, it has not taken place. So this is actually in a nutshell what you would call uh, you know, the simplest, the most precise definition and, uh, you know, meaning of the word faith. Now, somebody somewhere brings a very sweet idea about faith. Somebody said, faith is the official title deed of what we don't have. Anybody who has a title deed, that he can take you to a place that can be land. At a number, he may be at a acreage. But faith is the official document. It is the official title deed of what we don't have. Now, I just want to take you around before I get into my, my main points. But I want just to say, can you imagine today what you don't have today here with you, you can have it by faith. For granted, maybe you don't have school fees this evening. By faith, you have it. Maybe you don't have job or employment, but by faith, you have it. Maybe you don't have money for your project, but I'm telling you, by faith, you have it. And the list can go on. Maybe uh, this time, I, uh, you don't have a life partner. Maybe, uh, you know, your son has not gotten a second uh, a placement, you know, in the secondary school yet. Maybe you have never been to heaven even one time. Maybe you have no children. Maybe you have not seen tomorrow. Maybe you are just trying to imagine of many things that you should have. But I'm telling you, by faith you have it. Hallelujah. That is the sweetness of actually the word faith in the circles of believers and in the circles of Christians. I want just to unpack briefly these points of mine, very briefly, because this is a wide, deep, and, uh, you know, a great message. But I want to say, you know, I'm amazed that uh, faith is in the middle of Christian faith. Imani iko katikati ya maisha yetu ya kikristo. Hata ikiwa wewe ni nani na unatembea nani ya Yesu na unatembea katika eh, kumtembelea bana, actually imani inakuwa iko katikati. As uh, I was talking about uh, my first point, I said salvation is by faith. Nobody who ever received Jesus Christ as a personal savior without faith. And hear what uh, Paul says in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. So salvation is by faith. And I was just uh, made to feel good when I was thinking about this. And then uh, I, I went through the book of Romans a powerful a doctrinal book in the New Testament. And uh, in verse 12, 
of, of course, verse 12 is a continuation of some words that Paul was speaking, but I didn't want to go back there. So he's talking to his friends, he's talking to the guys whom he has been preaching to, and he wishes to go and visit them, uh, share the fellowship of, uh, you know, Jesus Christ with them. And uh, this is what he says as he continues in verse 12. Romans chapter 1, verse 12. That is, that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. And that is where the business now uh, picks the road. I want to tell you, Paul was trying to imagine he is actually the one who preached to them. He is the one who led them to Jesus. He is the one who actually uh, gave them some of the position that they were doing in that church. But uh, he felt that the faith of every believer was very important. So he was out to meet with them and he tells them uh, 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 that that is that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. And this is uh, the kind of uh, interpretation I got in my mind as the Spirit of the Lord was revealing. Let me tell you, many churches that are problem with the issues of worship, many churches that are problem with the issues of service, it is about faith. Hallelujah. It is about faith. What is your faith? How is your faith anchored in Jesus? How is your faith anchored in the things that you are doing? Because there are people who just do things in faith just as a formality. But I'm telling you, when we meet and we are all men and women of faith, we have to make the fire of believing in Jesus, the fire of service to God, uh, you know, coming out well and flaming. And that is why I, I was trying to imagine of the the three stones jiko whereby in our shags we we cook with the firewood you know you pick one firewood that is dry you pick another one that is dry and you put them to uh, together and you lit them and i'm telling you the fire comes out so sweetly it is very nice uh, let me tell you if you pick the same firewood and you mix with some that are not really dry, you'll know what it means. So I'm trying to imagine actually people that have given their life to Jesus. They are, you know, new. No wonder the Bible says uh, whoever is in Jesus Christ is a new creation. So we get dry to a point of, uh, you know, service in a dry way such that it is so clear but somebody who has not really given his, himself to jesus he has not really been saved but alijikuta tu katika safari ya wakristo alijikuta tu katika safari ya kwaya alijikuta tu kwa safari kwamba yeye ni mshirika wa AIC umoja alijikuta tu kwa safari kwamba yeye ni mzee wa kanisa alijikuta tu kwa safari yeye ni mchungaji i tell you there is a problem with that person and the problem is nothing else but faith and that's why I want to tell you for free, I am expecting to be encouraged by your faith. How are you operating with your faith? Are you a woman of faith? Are you a man of faith? If you have Jesus Christ in your life, I'm telling you, it is because of faith. And uh, Paul did not stop there. But he says in verse 17, and this is where the twist came. Actually, I'm told uh, Martin Luther, the reformist, was changed by verse 17. When he was doing his dissertation, preparing to go and graduate with his PhD, the verse 17, you know, changed his mind completely to a point of uh, running away from the Catholic Church to building now the famous Protestant Church. And this is the verse. This is what this man said. He says in verse 17, for in the, for in the gospel, a righteousness from God is revealed. A righteousness that by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Hallelujah. The righteous shall live by faith. So Martin Luther, the reformist, you know, he could not contain anything beyond, uh, uh, you know, uh, faith. The first verse we read says, for it is by grace. You have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God. You go down there, and the next verse is saying, not by works, so that nobody will boast. 
not by works. And you know, in the church that uh, Martin Luther, the reformist, was in, the issues of works were there. You know, they were order of the day. After graduation, he was supposed to carry a big box full of rosaries. He was supposed to carry a big box, you know, full of, uh, you know, many other things to go and continue selling to people penance. But he said, no, 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 I don't need this. It is by faith. A man of God, a woman of God shall live by faith and by faith and faith alone. Hallelujah. Can you clap for Jesus? So it is by faith that uh, we can make the difference. Let me tell you, I want to commend you guys because of being here today. Because many people don't have the faith that something can happen in this prayer fellowship. That's why our Konyumbani. Thank you for you guys who are watching, uh, you know, back at home in your screens because you have the faith. Thank you for those who are watching maybe in your office or in your phone because you have that faith. But I want to tell you, if really faith matters in Jesus, you can say, And we are not living in isolation. Just walk around in some of our churches. Just up a umoja. Wakati wako na maombi ya katikati. Utakuta magari yiko packed hivi mezunguka. I was asking myself, Lord, what's wrong with us? Has something gone wrong in our faith? Yes. Because we are trusting the visible substances. It is by faith. Let me go to my second point. That uh, our day-to-day -day life is by faith. Our day-to-day -day life is by faith. Nobody knows what is going to happen the next minute. Yesterday, uh, not yesterday, tomorrow, I'll be deep down in Makweni to bury a son of mine through, uh, you know, solemnizing his wedding. I thought he could be alive today, but he's not alive. You don't know when you are going to leave this world. Every step of your life is a miracle, and it is by faith. Anything that you are waiting for, you know, expecting from God or whatever, it is about faith in God. And that's why I want to tell you that uh, in verse, uh, in second point, you know, this is uh, bringing us into uh, verse 3. That uh, faith in God, just word from God made a difference. This world we are living in, was made from nothing, actually by the word of God. God said, let there be, and it was there. And today God can still do the same, because he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So I am encouraging you to know that we need to, to walk in our day-to-day -day life with that God of pronouncing words. It just says it is done and it is done. Before you start your journey, you pray and your journey is well because he has said it is going to be well. You are planning your project before you just do it. You call on his name and it's going to be well because he has just said it. Because he is a great God. And now, this is very sweet. In uh, my third point, Lord's promises to us are fulfilled by faith. We have in our verse 4, a very interesting story there. And I want to join it with the uh, first point, second point, and everything. And that is, uh, the Bible is telling me, by faith, Ebel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testified of his gift, and by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. You know, this young man you, uh, gave an offering. And he did not give the offering in isolation. As he was offering, his brother was also offering. Are you aware, every time uh, this evening we are going to be giving our offering here. Do you know, our offering level, our, uh, you know, offering receptivity before God will be very different. It will bring the difference by faith. How do you give your, your, your offering? Are you just giving because, for the sake of it? Are you walking from there to come and give the offering? Or you are giving it as a sacrifice, as an offering by faith to God. That is where we miss the mark. And I want to say, uh, this young man, 
came before God and offered his offering, but his brother, because he was not watching on God. Yeye akuwa na muangalia buwana wakati alikuwa na tuwa sadaka. Aliangalia sadaka ya ndugu yake, na akangalia sadaka yake, anaangalia sadaka ya, ya ndugu yake, anaangalia yuko, na the results were so clear that uh, I, I, I like the way the King, King uh, James Version is putting it. That uh, the giving, the offering of Ebel was more excellent. Now, can I ask you a question? I'm a teacher. I can ask you a question. Was Cain's offering excellent? You and your swali, don't answer me, but think about it. Was it excellent? I presume it was because it is being compared by God himself. Yani, ya Cain ilikuwa excellent. But for the other, uh, you know, brother was more excellent. So, although God did not accept it at the level of Abel's, this man, because of comparing anangalia, 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 na kwa kweli, he saw the, 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 the smoke going up before God, and the east could not produce the smoke. Because this other guy was having a band. East was not burnt. So he was worried of many things that are not real. And I'm saying uh, our promises. We, if, if we promise to give God our offerings and he accepted the, 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 the offering, it will be done. It will be accepted because we have faith in God. Not because we are, it, it, it is a thousand. Not because it is a, a five hundred. Not because it is one hundred. It is because the faith is on God. Mimi ni memutolea bwana. That's why many times I always reiterate this illustration. When it comes to offering, one time uh, I'm told of a, a, a servant of the Lord who was in training and an old lady uh, was not on, on the Sunday when people were giving some monies to have him go to school and study the word of God. So this lady uh, decided to go all the way and wait at the stage. Katika matatu stage, amgoje wakati anakuja na sanduku yake, akielekea shule ampatie ile eh, donation yake alikuwa nayo. And those days, you know, the lady didn't have much money, but he had five shillings. So that five shillings did not make the woman sleep. Uyu mama mze, akuje kumletea uyo young man who was going to train him. But I like the words of this man because uh, the, the, the woman because when the, the lady tried to give the five shillings to the young man, the young man said, no, 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 you, you need it more than myself. I can even give you like 50 shillings. And the lady, because she had faith, I'm talking about faith, she told the young man, it is not you that I'm giving this five shillings giving it to Jesus. Can you clap to Jesus? Mimi napea Yesu. Panini unaenda huko kwa hiyo maombi, hiyo maombi ya ikuangi na upako wa ina chochote, mimi naenda kukutana na Yesu. It is not about the people I'm going to find there. It is about God. Kutoka nitakuwa nimebarikiwa. I am going to seek God. Panini unaendanga kwa hiyo kanisa kutafuta mungu. It is not about the people that are there. It is about that God that has called us to salvation. It's about that God that sustains us to day-to-day -day life. Now, this is very powerful. Number four, we please God by faith on him. And this is now shown clearly in verse six. And this is what verse six is saying. This is very powerful. Can you hear what verse six is saying? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. So we will only please God when we are in the faith. If you are trying to please God and you are not in the faith, let me say this. In this world, there are three things that makes a difference. Number one is education. 
Education will make you have a different view about life. Secondly, is faith. Faith in God. Imani yako itabandilisha maisha yako. Because imani na education will produce number four, which is your character. Your character will determine exactly many things when you are in this world. So I'm saying, actually, the moment you are in faith, many things will fall in their place. When you are in the faith in the Lord, things are going to change. And uh, I want just to take a moment with you. And as I take a moment with you, I want to get to the level of sharing with you about examples of faith. Of course, this chapter is about many examples of faith. But I don't want to give many examples. I want just to give few. And as I give a few, I want to say, yes, we please God by faith. And even, you know, Paul said, salvation, I mean, life in God, life in Christian life is by faith from the beginning to the last. And I want to say uh, to, say to you, even after we are saved, uh, salvation has three beacons. It has the, you know, being taken out of uh, uh, you know, bondage of sin. You are delivered away, you know, from the bondage of sin. And then after that, a process of sanctification. You continue, as we wait to be perfected when we, we get to heaven. And we are longing for the number four, which is glorification. Catholics wakisema, hakuna mtu anaweza kuwakoka hapa duniani. Kwa sababu, they are right. Kwa sababu anasema, tunangojia bado utukufu uko mbinguni. That is where we are going to have the climax. But they forget, mungu mwenyewe anaeza kutua mtu katika utumwa wadhambi na kumweka katika maisha utawa. Hallelujah. And then he starts walking. How do you start taking care of a baby who is not born? We start taking of a baby when that baby is born. Na anaza kulelewa, akiendelea kuwa mkubwa. Hallelujah. So I'm saying, now we are expecting one day we are going to get to heaven. And that is my point number five. And that's why I want to give you these examples of the impossibilities that we are looking forward to. By faith, number one, the universe was formed by God's command. Yani tu kwa sauti tu, akasema ikue, na ikakua. Number two, Ibel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain. By faith, because of faith. Abel was command, commended as a righteous man because of his faith. Abel still speaks even though he's dead. By faith. Ikiwa tutakukumbuka katika uli mwengu, it's because you are going to do things by faith. Iyo imani itabandilisha kila kitu. Na watu watakukumbuka because you are a different person. By faith. Number five, Enoch was taken from the life so he did not experience death. Why? He pleased God and he had faith in God before he was taken away. Let me tell you, we will please God by our deeds. We will please God by our service. We will please God by our, you know, trust in him. We will uh, please God by our faithfulness. We will please God by our obedience to him. We are going to please God in our prayer life because we have faith in him. Atutaomba tukibahatisha. Tutaomba tukimaanisha. Tutaomba tukikubali imefanyika. Na tutaenda kungojea kuona when it is just unveiling because it is done. So I'm not expecting somebody in this hall to taomba leo na abebe muziko wake arudi na nyumbani because we have faith in a great God. Hallelujah. So this evening, what is it that uh, you are trusting God for? Have you tried faith? Are you watching over to see God's faith unveil in your life in any need that you are looking forward to? Let me tell you, if you are in faith, it is certainly going to come to pass in the name of Jesus. And I want to prophesy before you that uh, before long, you are going to say, it is done, Lord. Kuna watu wengi ambao, tuliwaombea hapa, kwa imani, January, because of their 
uh, you know, goals that they had because of their resolutions. And I'm telling you, some of them now are past tense. Mungu wajibu. But now they are even creating new resolutions from, uh, you know, the Lord so that things can start working again. May you trust in the Lord. It is going to be well. I mean, I'm seeing somebody that will be shocked, will be surprised by God before the, the, the next Thursday when we come to worship with the Lord because it is going to be done because it is by faith. So I'm saying in a nutshell, kutoka hapa, pokea kwa imani, jambo ambalo lilikufanya ukuje kwa imboma. Ukuje kuomba na kutafuta usu wabwana, pokea. Pokea katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa imani. Let's pray together. <laughs> Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, this is quite educating. This is quite powerful when we think about faith. Because without faith, no salvation. Without faith, Heavenly Father, our life becomes very difficult. Without faith, no even fulfillment of the promises that you have put to us. Without faith, we can't please you. Without faith, no heaven. But we are trusting that one day we are going to come and stay with you there. We can see heaven with our faith eyes in our lives. So I want to thank you for those that came today in the prayer of, uh, fellowship. I want to thank you for those who are watching back at home. And I want to commit them all now in the name of Jesus before your hands. And I want to declare that by faith, their needs by faith their sicknesses are going to be healed i want to pray the lord things are not going to be the same again in their lives because of their faith in you because of your faith in the bible we have seen many things happen actually in the book of uh, uh, where we have read hebrews chapter 11 all the way to the end, we see a multitude of, uh, you know, heroes of faith. And I want to trust that God, if there is any church that is going to make a difference, it is going to make a difference because it is being built by pillars of faith. So I want to trust that AICU Moja is going to, Heavenly Father, have heroes of faith. People who can believe things that are not seen. Heavenly Father, people can believe and see the permanent church that we are doing and we are constructing finished and even uh, the finishings done in the name of Jesus. People are going to see Heavenly Father by faith our Ujasiri Academy being a very big school, actually being a big school with very many branches, not even in Nairobi but even outside Nairobi because they can see by faith. Heavenly Father, I'm claiming in the name of Jesus that we are going to have a multiplication of heroes of faith in ASU Mocha. Because I know if there is anything that can kill a church, if there is anything that can make a church have a lot of division, is if people don't have faith focused to you. We want to look at you. When we are serving you, we want to look at you. When we are singing in our choirs, we want to see you by faith. When Heavenly Father, we are doing our offering, when we are doing our tithes, when we are doing our services in any way, we want to do them by faith. Because Heavenly Father, by faith, we are believing that uh, you, you, you exist. And we are believing that you are there. We are believing that you are listening. We are believing that uko katika ikanisa hata leo. Even when I'm preaching, we are trusting that you are here. That's why the Bible is telling you, us that uh, those who seek you, they are rewarded by you. So Lord, we are expecting great rewards from you in the name of Jesus. And we pray the Lord, things are not going to be the same again in our lives. Even when the devil throws, uh, you know, his spears, when he throws his uh, arrows to us, burning arrows, they will not work because we, in faith, we are secure in your hands. Be with us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray and we all say, Amen, 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 Amen. Can you clap and appreciate Jesus? Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah.